Good, 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 good Tuesday. Welcome to ER. This is Life Coaching with Ink. Once again, we together. How y'all doing? I know well because y'all tuning in. Y'all becoming better at emotional management, emotional intelligence, and y'all aspiring to be great. So I'm excited for you as I join you again this Tuesday on ER Emotional Response Podcast. Welcome. Today's topic is power and meditation. Before I start, and you can also, after you listen to this podcast, rewind back to this time, but I want to do a moment of silence on meditation. And it begins. Hey, 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 welcome back. Okay, this is the topic of power and meditation. I wanted to bring back, before I even dive into the topic of the simplicity of meditation, before we talk about the power, realize that when it comes to meditation, there's no set sequential order, set phase, set time limit. When it comes to meditation, it's just very vital to engage in meditation. And I did a few seconds just to bring up the fact that you can go for 30 seconds or 60 seconds and meditate in a moment of silence. The power of meditation. Meditation is something that should be voluntarily and not forced to do. You you should desire to want to meditate just because of the benefits. The benefits of loan make meditation so attractive. The exercise in itself, I'm not going to lie. You have to get used to. A lot of people are not used to being alone and by themselves for long periods of time. Meditation challenges you to go there. A lot of people think silence is a negative phase or transitional phase that will bring negative results. However, silence can be very beautiful, can be very beautiful. Meditation can be done in many ways. Meditation can be done with music. Meditation can be done with the sound of water. Meditation can be done with the sound of different stones. Meditation can be done with words where someone is just focusing on one specific word. Or they hear one specific sentence over and over again. Meditation could involve scripture. Meditation could involve you actively doing things, but you're just calming your mind. 
You can actually drive and meditate. Say what? When you think about meditation, right? You think 20 times out of 20, someone sitting in the middle of the floor, Indian style with their eyes closed, their fingertips from the index to the thumb drawn together and it touching their knees. I'm not sure why that's a common picture, but even when you Google meditation, similar pictures come up. That's one position that people use to meditate. However, you can do meditation while driving. You could do meditation in a shower. You don't have to go to YouTube to play the sound of water. You could be in the shower. Water could just be running. So, in spite of people not wanting to be by themselves, people being scared of silence and alone time, there's so much power in meditation. Meditation for 30 seconds could calm any emotional uproar that you're in. Your anger management might be out of out of whack. And you don't know in the next moment if you're going to lose your mind. Meditation is self-therapy. It's one of the best ways to manage yourself emotionally. Because sometimes you get to the point where you don't know why you feel what you feel, why you're doing what you're doing, why it's affecting you the way it's affecting you. And that's okay. Even that I don't know phase is normal in life. It's okay to not know what is going on sometimes. And meditation is one of the best activities to engage in just to calm your mind and your emotions down. Just to calm all the voices. You pick on up the phone talking to this person. You pick on up the phone talking to that person. You're emotionally out of whack. You got to go over this person's house. You got to go over that person's house. You begin to calm yourself down. Self-management. Self-therapy. And you go from the I don't know stage to bringing down the intensity of all the emotions that you might feel. And really looking at the root. This is power in meditation. Meditation can birth your next steps. Your next moves in life. Out of meditation came my podcast name. I was meditating one morning. And it came clear as day. E-R. Emotional response. How dope is that? How dope is that? We would like to toot our horn and just sometimes think that creativity come at the snap of a finger. But sometimes you get writer's block. Sometimes your creative juices are not flowing. And you might need to calm yourself down and meditate. If it's for 30 seconds, 60 seconds, a minute, an hour, two hours, three hours. Begin to put this in your daily activities. Why? This is how powerful meditation is. An hour of meditation is equivalent to eight hours of work. You say, what? An hour of meditation is equivalent to eight hours of work. 
And if you think about it, it makes total sense. You could do eight hours of busyness and get nowhere. You could get do eight hours of connecting and networking and get nowhere. You can do eight hours of advertising and get nowhere. Meditation is allowing you to tune in with the inner self, connect with the universe, and really pull out the greatest part of you so you can move forward. If you knew how valuable it is, if I told you a million dollars was hidden in your inner soul and all you had to do was meditate, would you do it? Would you do it? Meditation is priceless. That's how expensive it is. That's how valuable it is. One hour of meditation is equivalent to eight hours of work. You could be doing eight hours of research online. And if you just clear your mind and quiet everything, you can find what you need in that one hour. A lot of times we're looking for the answer and the answer is from within. But if we don't tune into self, we won't know that. We won't recognize our inner voice. The God box that's within us that is full of creativity and greatness. We have to be able to make this a significant part of our life. Make it a, an activity that, that serves a prior, like a priority. It's not maybe I can, I have to. I talked about toothpaste before, but just like you make it mandatory to go outside before you go outside, brush your teeth, you should make it mandatory before you embrace the world, embrace yourself. Before you embrace the world, embrace yourself. Spend time meditating. And I know it's something even I can admit that I could do a lot more. I meditate. But I don't do it as much as I could. And I know my success is found in it. Some of the greatest people in today's world meditate. And they find all their creativity, all their next moves, moves just by meditating. Russell Simmons got several books on meditation. Several books. I didn't read one of his books. And the key thing about meditation, it's a growing process. Meaning, when you start, you might start off with just 30 seconds each day. 60 seconds the next week. A minute the week after that. You have to find the pill and meditation. You have to find what makes meditation attractive. And then your time that you dive into meditation will increase. Some people don't watch TV because it doesn't appeal to them. There's nothing on TV. There's no movies, nothing. And then they might click on one show that just came out. And it tweaked their interest. So they watched 15 minutes of it. Then the next day they, okay, I'm going to give it time for a whole episode. Then they catch up to a whole season. Then they binge on all the previous seasons. But something within that activity had appealed to